Our garden has hosted a variety of wildlife this summer, and one that I've been enjoying lately are the hummingbirds. In Oklahoma, we most typically see the ruby-throated hummingbird, which is easily recognized with its iridescent green plumage. You might also see the rufous hummingbird on occasion, but this is much less common. Hummingbirds rely on nectar from flowers to get their nourishment. They typically feed on flowers that have a tubular shape, inserting their long beak deep inside to reach nectar from the base. While they're feeding, hummingbirds provide a service to the flower. These long stamens brush against the hummingbird's head while it's feeding, and the pollen transfers onto the hummingbird's feathers. When the hummingbird visits another flower, it transfers that pollen onto the flower and pollinates it. The best way to attract hummingbirds into your garden is to plant a variety of flowering plants that come into bloom in succession throughout the season. Hummingbirds migrate up to Oklahoma from overwintering grounds in the subtropics. And so the best way to get them to nest in your yard is to have a nectar source available when they arrive. Red columbine is a great source for spring nectar because it blooms as early as March. Four o'clocks are another great plant for hummingbirds that are attracted to these really bright pink flowers. Four o'clocks are a perennial that grow from a bulb. They have a spreading habit and they bloom pretty much throughout the season. Right now the flowers are closed, but they're gonna open up later in the day, thus giving their name four o'clock. That's when you're gonna see the hummingbirds visiting our plants here. Trumpet creeper is one of the most popular plants used to attract hummingbirds with its showy orange to red flowers. Trumpet creeper is a woody vine native to the eastern part of the United States. It blooms from June through September. The plants bloom the best when they're planted in full sun, but they also do fairly well in the shade. Now, trumpet creeper can be fairly aggressive, and so you want to plant it along an arbor or a fence where you can easily trim it. There are a great many plants that you could use in the landscape to attract hummingbirds, from annuals and perennials to shrubs, trees, and vines. Now is a good time to start planning on what plants you might like to establish this fall to attract the birds next spring. For more information on hummingbird gardening, see OSU Fact Sheet 6435. Another great way to attract hummingbirds to the landscape is to use feeders. Feeders come in a variety of styles and you can purchase them at most home and garden centers. Um, they typically have a red coloration and feature some sort of imitation flower structure. Hummingbird feeders are filled with a sugar water solution that you can make at home by mixing one part of sugar to four parts of water. You'll want to boil the solution slightly just to dissolve the sugar. Some people think that you need to add red food coloring to the solution to attract the birds, but this is not necessary and can even harm the hummingbirds. The red coloration on the feeder itself is going to be enough to attract the hummingbirds. Make sure that you wash your feeder regularly to keep your hummingbirds healthy. Mm -hmm.